Several students have asked me about the proper way to paste a Minitab graphic into their Word document as they're working on their project. So let's show a quick tutorial on how to do that. First of all, we need a graphic. So let's go ahead and do the histogram for the age as is required by one of our questions. And we'll grab that by doing right click and we're going to copy that graph and let's go to our Word document and this is just a random Word document that I opened up that I'll be pasting some graphics into and, and manipulating them to give you an idea of how it's done. So let's just throw this graphic down onto the, onto the document and then we can move it and size it and uh, do exactly what we want. So we're going to right click and we're going to paste that image into the document. Okay, so now we have this graphic inside of our Word document, and you're probably going to want to resize it because that's, that's a little large, that's unnecessary. So we grab one of the corners, one of the corners, any corner, and we can resize that while keeping the proper proportion, and that's key to keep the proper proportion. If you just simply grab the side and you stretch it, or you compress it, you get a very unprofessional looking graph where the fonts are all jacked up. So we don't want to do that. Let me undo those two. All right, so we're using only one of the corners to resize it. And you probably don't want to go less than one half of a page wide. So let me bring this down a little bit more. All right, so there's a, we're happy with that size. Now we want to put the location where it makes sense in the document, right? We want it married to one of the questions. So that's, that's easy to move around. You just grab it and drag it and drop it. All right, now we need to make it look a little better and look more professional, so we want the text to wrap around it. You do that by right-clicking this picture, and then you choose the wrap text, and you normally want to choose this thing called square right here. So there we have it. It looks very nice, very professional, and you know, if we assume that this, this, chap, this paragraph right here that says far out into the South China Sea is about this histogram, then this is exactly where we want the graph. We can move it left, we can move it right, Normally you don't want to put it in the middle, that just looks stupid. So you want it to the, the far right or the far left. And when it's like this, if I come up here and I start putting in another paragraph, is the picture going to move accordingly? That's one of the challenges. So let's put it down there and let's try that again. So now it's moving as we insert more text, it will move up and down. So that can be a little bit frustrating if for some reason your graphic is not moving as you insert more text. So normally it's the very first time you try to do this that it will not move. Now what if we come right here to the start of this paragraph? All right. In this case we're leaving it behind and it all has to do with this anchor symbol that you see here. If the cur cursor is above that anchor, then it will move down in accordance with the new text that you're inserting. So let's get this all lined back up. Maybe put one line of text over top of the graphic and get rid of these extra spaces. Okay. So you want to switch it over to the other side? No problem. There you go. So that's the best way to insert graphics into your Word document out of Minitab.